Well, the Corpus Christi Police Department is hosting its national night out this week. And joining us live via Zoom to talk about this event is Melissa Castro with CCPD. Good morning. Now, for those who don't know, can you tell us what National Night Out is? Of course, of course, and good morning. So National Night Out is a national program that was established, I believe, back in 1984. And what it do, does is it, it pretty much is trying to get your know, to know your neighbors. Um, we've always stressed how they are the first boots on the ground as far as any kind of activity taking place in your neighbor. So it really brings, uh, tries to bring the community together um, and bring them out on this one particular night. And what they're doing is they will either um, put a blue light bulb out on their front porch or also decorate their yard. Um, and so this is, like I said, it's been established since 1984 and this will be taking place tomorrow. And Melissa, we know a lot of uh, festivals and things have been canceled due to the pandemic. How is this year's event going to be a little different because of uh, the pandemic? Right. So what we did, uh, you know, we try to keep our community as safe as possible. So we coordinated with the Noises County Health District and their recommendation was, well, that not to recommend at all having the block parties um, as in years past. Um, and again, this comes into the participation could be simply to put the blue light out on your front porch in support of law enforcement or also decorate your front yard. Um, they did say, of course, you know, this is, you know, because we've been in this challenging of times, you know, we, the neighbors are ready to get together and go out. And so the recommendation that they gave us is just to still f um, do the social distancing and also to wear the mask. And then if there's going to be any kind of food item, then they want anything disposable and, you know, just checking for symptoms. So is there any other way uh, the community can support our men and women of blue? Sure, sure, sure. So like I said, um, our, it's a registration process and we put out, you know, things on social media. Our neighbors on watch groups all throughout the city were advised and the participation for them is we are going to be going through our city starting on the island and working our way out to the Cal Allen area. And so just put out the blue light if you haven't already registered. Um, we will be passing throughout the city. Like I said, starting at 6 p.m. We will start out from the island and then move towards, like I said, like the Cal Allen area. All right, we got about 20 seconds left. Uh, Melissa, real quick, where can people go to find out information about the event so they can get involved? You can go on to our CCPD website and we did do a, uh, a PSA on it. And then as well, if you have any information, like I said, you can call our local crime prevention office and it's 7, uh, 886-2765. And we've already registered all our groups to take part in some of the drive-bys, but our officers is gonna be out all over the city starting at 6 p.m. So, you know, as far as participation, you know, we our community has always been pro for CCPD. So just give us a wave or, you know, put on that blue light or decorate your front door, blue streamers, blue lights, anything to show that you guys are backing us up. Good to know. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. And we'll be posting this full interview a little later this morning on our website at ChrisTV.com.